So with the release of Photoshop 23 and the adjustments into Camera Raw and the addition of masking, I basically um, kind of had a bit of a, um, a light bulb when I kind of needed to update uh, specific presets that I use a lot. Uh, now, whether you're using the likes of Classic uh, Lightroom or you're using the likes of Bridge and ACR, Adobe Camera Raw, pretty much the same thing applies and things really. And the image that we're seeing in front of us here is kind of the before and after of the, the, the kind of the basic um, boho that we would have actually kind of been running things really. Now, obviously, with the adaption of uh, Curve, uh, really kind of playing its role now and um, but masking really has made a difference so what I, I basically did was built into my um, boho specifically the preset for now was actually the mask the masking ability so I can go in and add in the smoothing of the skin and um, the lightening of the hair and the kind of little bit of a color curve into my kind of boho new one and two as it were what am I on about? Okay, so let's first of all, you know, with a a normal session um, that I do, you know, if you kind of look at here, it's teen girls actually in the park, huge huge amounts of images, um, groups of girls as well. Uh, depends on the kind of the uh, thing that you're going for. Um, but if we look at this kind of image here, and we kind of oh, wrong button sorry uh, if we just look at the one image um, and you kind of see the kind of the more Instagrammy kind of look and feel that I add into the the kind of the party shoots and things really the boho party um, so from here uh, really what I want to be able to do is actually mask the faces and do it all at once within the uh, the kind of the preset because obviously when you're selecting I mean there's a hundred and third 31 images here because there's uh, four girls within the shoot the birthday girl plus three friends so what we want to be able to do is create this lovely kind of boho and what I've done here now is added in the mask into the face so if I just bring that quickly into raw um, what I've actually got in here now as a part of the preset is the masking so it affects the hair, it affects the pupil in the uh, eye, it affects the skin that is visible on the body, and it affects the actual face itself and things. Um, so that's what I've added into the boho kind of look and feel. So when you're creating a preset, as a rule, it's got to work across multiple images, and you'll probably have one for um you know location a different one for studio because of slight different kind of lighting conditions uh, etc with it and things really so let's look at how we kind of create this uh, kind of look and feel as it were all right um so if i just escape out of there for a minute and if i just right click onto this image here and i develop settings and i just clear the settings from it that kind of brings the image back to as shot. So this is how I was photographed, uh, pretty much uh, 200 of a second, f2.8, uh, kind of 50 mil or uh, 7200, uh, 7200 lens. I usually work between those two. Um, but anyway, um, let's look at the image. So if we bring it into the develop mod, mod module, if we were using uh, Lightroom Classic, or in this case, we're going into RAW, so um, file open in camera RAW. Um, this kind of brings it into its develop module. So when I was kind of working on the basic boho originally, I was working in some very severe effects here. With the bringing in of the curve now, I can basically do a lot more control within the boho look, very similar that I would have actually applied as an action within Photoshop. So what, what do I mean? The first thing that I do with the kind of the boho look is I increase the contrast a little bit. I add in five, the black is a minus five. Um, then we're gonna go into the saturation and I'm just gonna go to minus 25. That across, that's across the whole image. If I just wanted to affect the skin, I would put it into the minus five of the, um, vi uh, the vibrance, but in this case, I want it across the whole image. Um, I want a texture change across the whole image as well. So that's a minus 25. And uh, the next point would be going into the uh, effects, which would be a slight vignette 
and a little bit of grain around about between uh, three and four as far as grains concerned I'm just going to put in three for now I'm just going to knock that thing that back a touch there we go but one of the main things here is going to be the curve so I want to work in the uh, point curve and what I want to do is flatten the black to begin with so just actually kind of pushing this up more in towards the black then kind of dragging it down this gives us that matte look that flatness that kind of uh, it's it's you know kind of an Instagram fil filter effect and things like that um, and instead of just going for a normal S curve we're going for more of a ski jump so with a ski jump with a slight bump okay so this part here increases the brightness over overall getting closer to the whites this pretty much has fixed the midpoint I've got a fixed ish kind of um, a bump here as you can see but this is the one that really flattens and mattens the black more and then what we've got is that kind of um, the normal black point position is push pushed up and that's where we're kind of really giving ourselves this kind of matte black effect and things so uh, if I wanted to add a little bit more blue into the image of course I could I could just actually go in towards the curve here and just um, move the uh, the kind of the the black point again up towards the blues more and that will actually put a blue tone into the black instead of uh, pure black as it were all right so I can do that as well but there there was stopping a what was called boho 23 so as soon as the curve came came in I would have just gone into save preset or save settings yeah and I would have said yes to all of this if there's anything that I didn't want to have in there like uh, exposure um, then basically I would just actually un unclick that if I just cancel that for a minute and let me just check my color balance because that's the one thing we didn't talk about okay so the color balance is as shot but I want to correct that back to 5600 to cool to cool that down uh, now I can go in and save yeah so just going into save set settings and at this point I can include everything including the white uh, the white balance and I'm just going to go now into save so as I said uh, you can see here already I'd already called that boho 23 so let's go that boho 23 new all right so there we've got the save um, but with the ability now to add the masking into the image I can now click on to the mask and because it's going to acknowledge a person as such uh, we're going to kind of let that come in and then we're going to select her and like I mentioned to you I want to affect the face the body I want to do the iris and pupil and I want to do the hair and I want to create four separate masks within here and I'm now going to click create so the first things first I usually lift the shadow information in the hair I also just add a little bit of texture into the hair as well just to allow it to kind of glisten that kind of looks at the white point and the black point and kind of crispens them a little bit then we're going to go into the iris and the pupil here tend to actually increase the exposure just a little bit the sharpness again in texture just up a tad and then as far as the sat the saturation just increase that by a little bit because remember I'm taking saturation out uh, across the whole Im image so I'm just adding a little bit more in here then as far as the body skin's concerned I would just take out the texture so just kind of softening down the skin and then in the face I want to take um, the texture down but not as much so around about 20 ish uh, and just go from there and now the great thing about it of course I've built this into the actual um, ov overall uh, kind of look and feel and I can save this now so save settings and as long as I click on the mask in here yes um, I can now go to save and I can call, call this boho 23 masking and pressing save and I just press done for a minute so there's that look and feel to that image so if I was to grab um, let's just do another one of her and then let's do a few of her uh, friends bring those in 
So remember, um, what we've got here now is the preset. So the Boho 23 mask, you can see as I overlay it, it shows me exactly what it's going to do. And if I was to click on that, it's going to update the mask. It's going to be looking for the skin and everything else with it. And now that's basically done. So if I wanted to go in and slightly correct that image for one reason or another, it's slightly darker, whatever it would be, or add in another mask, I can, all right? But the great thing is here is that we can go into these other three images and we can go back to our presets. We can click onto the Boho 2, um, where are we? Build Boho 23 mas masking. That's the one we should have touched on, in fact. And we click onto that. And what it's doing now, it's updating all three images, applying the same technique that we did on the single image. Now, if I had a group as well, it would work in exactly the same way. So let me just do the correct on her as well. Yeah. And I'm going to put a star on it that brings it up to the top here. And then um, what I've got now is each one of those images has had the correct effect done. We can see with this girl, she's a little bit dark within the face. So if I just come up into the mask, and I look for the face, now I can actually increase the exposure a little bit to bring it up a little bit brighter and lighter like the others. So again, because the mask is already being applied, now it's a lot quicker for us to actually work on those slight little differences of the photograph itself. So I'd recommend to you, if you're using presets in, in the likes of a ACR or in Lightroom Classic, that if you're shooting people and things that you know you want to adjust all the time, then you can basically apply it within the photograph. Um, you could do that as well, in fact, with the likes of if you had a white background and you were shooting in, stu in studio all the time, you could create a background mask. And then by doing that, you can apply it across all of the images without having to actually go in to actually apply it each time. So. Presets, uh, remember the benefit of them. They allow us to, once we've selected our images, let's just go in and select the girls as well here. We go into RAW, um, Control R on the PC, selecting all my photographs, going over to the preset, looking for the Boho 23 mask in, updates, in this case, all four of the images. And of course, the great thing about this now with the group of girls, it's going to uh, look at all of them and create the mask for us as well. So let's just wait for that to finish. So if we come up into here and we go into masks, we can now see we've got uh, the different um, elements here across the images. So they've said that each one of these girls is the same person. Uh, across the photograph and things really. So in this case, if I wanted to lighten this girl on the left-hand side again, then I would just go into brush and I'd just go in and slightly wipe the faces and just push the exposure up just a little bit more as well. And that is why you should update your presets in the likes of Photoshop 23 and the new rule.